electricity meter in this video then we're going to be upsizing a bit to the industrial size and what we're looking at there is the Sangamo Western S301.1 this is a three phase four wire instrument and it is three times 240 volts 3 times 50 amps, 50 hertz alternation frequency. 3 phase 4 wire, and the load wheel speed on this one is 40 revs per kilowatt hour. This one also features the float on magnetic bearing, and this one has the clock dials on it. And we shall now zoom in on this instrument. This one is quite large. There it is. With this one then, it has a load wheel in the centre there, surrounded by a frame in which the accuracy magnets are accommodated. This one also has a, uh, just a screw on that frame, just there at the bottom. And this instrument is made in mid, uh, Enfield, Middlesex in England. There was no number on this one when I received it. And also, there was no reading on it either. I have reason to believe that this instrument was set up and calibrated ready for use but it was never put into service. I did have some, they were uncrimped, they were anti-tamper seals on this instrument but they were uncrimped so I've got reason to believe that this one was calibrated and put on the shelf ready to go into service but it was never put into service and it, it just remained there on the shelf for a little while and then the electricity board started transitioning over to electronic instruments and this electricity meter never got to see service so it was removed from the storage shelf that it was placed on and then put up for sale that is when I acquired it and upon opening the box in which it was packaged the instrument was in there in a bag and there was anti-tamper seals on it but they were uncrimped so there was no embossing marks in them and also there was no numbering on it so I don't know the age of this instrument. Let's zoom in a bit more now on that specification plate so that we can see the characteristics of it. There we are then. Now, 3 times 240 volts, that is in reference to the voltage coils in this. Because this instrument is 3 phase 4 wire, each of the, uh, the voltage coils in that are wired for 1 for the phases to the neutral, so that each coil receives 240 volts. In a three phase instrument, each coil would be wired uh, between two of the phases, so therefore the coils would be rated for 415 volts. Because this is a three phase and neutral instrument, each of the coils are referenced to neutral, so therefore they receive 240 volts each. On this instrument, where it says 50C forward slash S, it kind of gauges how old this instrument is, because most other later instruments would actually say HZ on them for Hertz. So, it gives a rough idea as to the age of this instrument. 
The model number is right in the middle then. S301.1. There's that little adjuster screw for full load. And we've got S and F for slow and fast. So there it is. If I can adjust that tripod. Right, there it is then. And there's the other remaining associated characteristics. 40 revs per kilowatt hour, 3 phase, 4 wire. Once again, showing down there, we've got the float on magnetic bearing. The float on magnetic bearing is in reference to the load wheel, and what happens with this instrument is the load wheel sits on a magnetic cushion, and so therefore the accuracy of this instrument is maintained over a particularly long period of time. The readout on this one, on this particular example, does not have a 0 0.1. There are certain Sangamo S301 instruments which do have a 0 0.1, but in exchange for that, they then do not have the 100,000s dial up the other end. The numbers for this one are 1, 10, 100, 1,000, tens of thousands, and then hundreds of thousands. It is interesting to think that if this meter starts at zero, works its way right the way through, back around to zero once again, uh, that this instrument will have registered 1 million kilowatt hours. Because this instrument is three phase four wire, there are quite a multitude of terminals on this one. The layout of the terminals in the terminal block there are as follows. We got red phase in, red phase out, yellow phase in, yellow phase out, blue phase in, blue phase out. Neutral in, black, and neutral out, black. The colours I quoted are the old British colours. For the new harmonised European colours, it would be brown in, brown out, black in, black out, grey in, grey out, blue in, blue out. On the underside of that instrument. In another video. On another day. What I would like to do. Is get this one in front of the camera again. But wired up. And we'll be able to watch the load wheel go around in there. And get it registering a load. On the readout. Another thing I would like to do, because it has been some years since it was accuracy tested, would be to give it another accuracy test to see if it's holding out its accuracy for the amount of time that I've owned this instrument. Both of those will be on another day. I would like to say thank you for tuning in to watch this one, and there will be more electricity meter videos coming up later on on this channel. For now, thanks for watching.